good Tuesday. I hope you are having a good start to your week. For those of you that are in the school rhythms, this is the first full week back, or actually it has been a week since we have begun. So I don't know about any of you, but now that we've been in this new routine for one week, full exhaustion hit my household last night. Complete and utter whew, meltdown occurred. Now, just because it's a, a, a child going back to school that had a meltdown doesn't mean that we don't all do it. Because I admit, I have my own personal meltdowns still as an adult. I get exhausted. I get frustrated. I feel defeated. I feel not enough. And then I just get down for a bit. And then I get over it. And I realize I can, I can have my own sadness, but I can't wallow in it. I have to move on. And so last night as the tears began to flow and, and I was asking, you know, what is going on and why are you sad? And finally the truth came out. Now, as a mom, my initial underlying thought is you're tired. But from their version, they're so concerned because in band, they have to have a song memorized by the time the homecoming parade happens, and they're just not certain they can do it. And how in the world are we supposed to march that whole way without having any music in front of us? Then we go on. The sport that we're in, we, she, so the daughter I'm referring to is a catcher, okay? So at practice, she, you know, I, she said, I just didn't, I didn't do well. I didn't catch enough balls. I let balls go by me. Okay, so how many balls went by you? Okay, how many balls were actually pitched toward you? So really, in all perspective, you didn't let that many balls go by. But in her mind, she was failing her team. She was failing her pitcher. Okay, then she goes on to proceed that she's so scared because she wrote down what her math teacher had on the board and did her homework. And then other friends said that they had a different set of problems. And oh my gosh, what if we wrote it down wrong? You know, we've all been there. Things just get spun out of perspective. My point here is, I would guess whether we are a teenager going back to school, whether we are an educator getting back in the swing of things, whether we are a parent, whether we are a neighbor, or whether we are plain and simple, just an adult trying to make it, in this world, we all have our moments where we feel insufficient, where we feel not enough. We're failing everyone, letting God down, letting our friends down, letting ourselves down, because we have such high expectations. And then we all have to step back and remember, were you honest about what you were doing? Did you give it your best effort? Did you try wholeheartedly to do what was right? And if you're answering those with yes, there's nothing more you can expect from yourself. We can try. We can hold high expectations. We can think that we need to do more. Reality is we're human. God knew we were going to fail. But that's okay. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we get better. Fact is, we're all so very hard on ourselves. We have such high expectations that oftentimes it just isn't even reasonable. And the hard part about that is I can say this till I'm blue in the face to all of you. I'm one of the world's worst. I will give anyone forgiveness. I will remind them, you've been overwhelmed. You've been busy. You've endured a lot. Wow, you gave great effort. But I forget to remind myself that. So my hope for you today is I'm going to share a little bit of, it's, it's just a little um, quote from a book 
a year of positive thinking. This one says, proving yourself to everyone is futile. You are your greatest advocate and the validation that you need most is your own. You are strong enough and good enough exactly as you are in this moment. You are good enough to choose whatever you choose to do. Even if others are well-intentioned with their advice, only you know what is best. Stay true to your choices. Trust your strength, the strength that God has given you. Find happiness in what suits you. People are trying their hardest to impress other people. And typically those that you're trying to impress are not people that really matter anyway. The ones who deserve your respect and attention are the ones who see you as you are and love you anyway. God has made you wonderfully, beautifully made. Remember that. And remember that sometimes we might mess up and that's okay. As long as we are trusting in our faith and doing our extreme best, trying, working, giving of our best, that is what we are intended to do. Give yourself some grace. I hope that you are having a wonderful week. And if you have not encountered one of those moments recently, yay for you. But if you are like some of us who seem to on a regular basis, whether it's weekly, whether it's daily, whether it's monthly, have those moments where we think, am I enough? I'm just not enough. I'm not giving enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not being enough. You are. You are. Give yourself some grace. Remember God's love. And have a wonderful week.